Well, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell says interest rates could climb higher than experts had first predicted. He is testifying on Capitol Hill today as inflation remains stubbornly high. Powell told lawmakers on the Senate Bank Committee that while prices have come down, they have not reached the target set by the Federal Reserve. Although inflation has been moderating in recent months, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go <clears throat> and is likely to be bumpy. As I mentioned, the latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be, to be higher than previously anticipated. If the totality of the data were to indicate <clears throat> that faster tightening is warranted, we'd be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. Let's bring in CBS News reporter Sarah Ewall Weiss with more. Sarah, the Federal Reserve has slowed rate hikes since December. But do Powell's latest comments mean that they're all but guaranteed to surge again this month? Not completely guaranteed, but the strongest signal yet. Uh, what Powell said is they will continue to make their decisions based on the data coming in. Uh, but this was a clear sign the Fed is willing to go back up to that half a percentage hike at the next meeting later this month. Keep in mind, they had been easing those hikes. They went from three quarters of a percentage point to half a percentage point hikes before the quarter of a percentage point hike this year in February. Uh, but, but the most recent inflation data, the CP or PCE measurement used by the Fed showed that inflation was more persistent in January than they had hoped. So they're looking at more broader inflation, specifically in the service sector. And Powell is not the only one who has signaled an openness to a greater hike again. Uh, several other Fed bank presidents have also suggested that. Uh, and of course, Powell did say they could go higher than they predicted when it comes to that terminal rate uh, that they end on. So that could last longer. Uh, and throughout this year. As they move forward, they gave their last projection on that in December. They'll give their next one at their upcoming meeting. Sarah, do you think a more aggressive approach from the Fed increases the likelihood of a recession? Well, that kind of is the idea here. Uh, when the Fed moves to raise rates, it's to cool demand, and that slows the economy. Uh, but it estimate this would lead to an increase in unemployment uh, from that 54-year low. We're currently seeing the current unemployment rate is 3.4 percent. But Powell was pretty testy in an exchange with Senator Elizabeth Warren, uh, who asked him about the people who would lose their jobs because of the Fed hiking rates. Uh, you know, Powell said during the hearing he still sees there's a path to bring down inflation without a significant downturn in the labor market, noting the, ma na the massive number of job openings. Uh, and he said there's a long way uh, to going into a recession. So that is still an optimistic uh, stance from him. Of course, Senator Warren uh, had some pretty brutal words for him about pushing people out of, out of the workforce. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this is all happening against the backdrop of that looming debt ceiling crisis. What did Powell have to say about that? Yes, you know, he, he says this remains to be something the Federal Reserve thinks the executive branch, being the White House and Congress, must address. Uh, the Fed does not see itself playing a role in addressing that debt limit. Uh, and this kind of echoes the remarks he had in early February. Uh, but he said, point blank, Congress needs to act to raise the debt limit. If Congress does not act, Powell said there, it, the consequences would be pretty hard to estimate. But he said there could be longstanding harm in the economy. Uh, and of course, we'll see how this moves forward this week when the president is expected to release his budget later this week. And, and lawmakers continue to focus on that and the debt limit. All right, a lot to keep an eye on. Sarah Ewa, Weiss in Washington. Sarah, thank you.